What's up YouTube? I'm going to show you guys how to play music from your phone or your network on the Xbox One. Um, first thing you wanna, you're going to want to do is download an app called Skifta. It will turn your phone into a uh, DLNA server. So I have it installed here. Just hit the app and uh, give it a second to start up. And it'll see my media source is my HTC One. The player, and actually, if, if I go into this too, I can also choose my PC that I have in the room. Um, but I'm going to stream stuff just straight from my phone. For your player, you will want to pick the Xbox System OS. And then you'll go ahead and browse your media. Now while I do this, let's get the music player up on the uh, Xbox One. So, Xbox, go to Xbox Music. So now Xbox Music will launch and um, you'll see that I don't have a subscription. Um, I am going to just play the music I have off my phone onto the Xbox. So, here we are in Skifta I'll go into albums and I'll just play this uh this Mets album. So I just go ahead and hit play here. It starts playing. And it'll start playing on the Xbox as well. Xbox Snap Music. So now as you can see I'm able to uh, snap the music playing from my phone right here to the Xbox while I play. The annoying thing about this though is, I'll show you here in a second, um, It, when you're playing music it shifts the focus to the snap side of the screen so you have to say this. Xbox, switch. Okay, now I have control on, on Forza here. And uh, I'll go ahead and start the race. Probably gonna be really bad because I'm trying to hold this camera and the race at the same time. But uh, just want to show you guys. I'm playing music off my phone onto the Xbox One while I'm playing Forza. Uh, it works okay. One issue I've come across though is that you have to have <laughs> I can't play this with one hand uh, you have to have the music app snapped so for example if I go ahead and say Xbox unsnap it will unsnap the app but it also pauses the game and stops the music so that kinda stinks um, Xbox snap music so now this is back, um, and it's not going to pick up where it left off. No. See, the, the Xbox is, it can receive DLNA, but it can't control it as of right now. So if I go ahead and hit onto the next track, it'll start playing here. And, uh, like, that's fine. To get back to the gameplay now, I have to say, Xbox, switch. Xbox, switch. Now I can resume play with one hand. <laughs> uh, but one issue I've come across with this also is that uh, between tracks, it will take the focus out of Forza and into the, into the snapped music program which pauses the game, which, I mean, and then you have to physically tell the machine to switch back to Forza, which is kind of annoying. Um, I'll show you here in a minute. This is a short-ish song, um, but it's kind of a pain. It's, it's a bummer that a lot of this stuff that you could do through the guide in the 360, and I feel like it worked a lot better, 
is now like a lot more cumbersome. Like, I don't want to have the song info snapped on the side of the screen while I'm playing. I don't understand how that's better than having it in the guide at any time. I really liked how the 360 did that. I could stream everything from my Mac using this program called Connect360 Connect and it just had my whole iTunes library. This is a little bit more convoluted. Um, it works, but it's not the ideal situation. Um, I guess it's better that the PS4 doesn't let you stream to it at all as of right now, so I guess this is a step ahead of that, but not by a whole lot. This is a pretty pretty clunky implementation of this. Um, I actually asked Xbox support if there was a way to have this work without snapping and they didn't even know what I was talking about with it being a DLNA server, so it's kind of a bummer, but alright, this song is almost over and I'll show you what I mean by when it switches songs what happens here. If you're in the heat of a race I am racing See, the track ended, a new track started, and it'll actually start playing the next track, but it pauses the game. So then I can't even just resume, I have to snap the focus back from the music player on the right into Forza. So, Xbox, snap. Ah, that's not what I meant to say. Stop listening. Eh, yeah, I messed it up. But... Anyway, you have to say Xbox Swap. Xbox Swap. Uh, or is it Xbox Switch? There we go. Not Twitch. <laughs> uh, anyway, you get the idea. You have to switch the focus back to the game, and then you can unpause it and keep playing it. And it works, but it's it's not the greatest. So... That is how you play your own music from your PC library or from your smartphone to the Xbox One during gameplay without having to pay for Xbox music. However, it doesn't work the greatest, it's a little clunky, and I don't know. If anyone has any tips, let me know in the comments, because I would really like to know how to fix this. Cool. Thanks.